I'm Diana Upton Hill. And I'm Erica Good. Welcome to Dutch Country Kitchen. And welcome to my kitchen. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We have an incredible episode. I can't wait to share this with you, but I want you to tell us about it, Erica. Yeah, so today's recipe is a little more in depth. We are making a charcuterie board. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so what, what all is involved in the charcuterie board? Because I'm sure every party I've been to recently kind of has its own variations. So is mm -hmm. there kind of a through line? Yeah. A charcuterie has to have um, smoked meats. Um, you can do sausages. You can do uh, smoked hams. Um, Lots of all different like kinds. Cheeses and yeah. things like that. Kind of so. like a meat and cheese, fancy meat and cheese tray <laughs> with extras. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And so what's our, we kind of have a different twist on it today. With yes. Literally different twists. Different we, twist. <laughs> we are going with pretzels, homemade pretzels, and then a meat and cheese tray with some fruit, veggies, and kids love this, yeah. especially the soft pretzel edition, and we're just kind of going with common used meats and stuff, so. I cannot wait. It'll you be guys a family gonna, treat. I've had her pretzels before, and they are phenomenal, so maybe Thank I'll you. be able to twist a few of my own today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get started making these pretzels. Great. You have to make them and then let them rise for a little while. Okay. So we'll go ahead and pour in, um, it needs to be warm water. If it's too hot, it'll kill the yeast. And if it's too cold, I mean, it's fine, but it'll take a lot longer to rise. And so what is this contraption you're pouring into right now? This is called a Bosch mixer, and it, it basically can knead the dough well. Um, you can also do it by hand. That's totally fine. That's how I grew up doing it. Oh, really? This is just a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So let's go ahead and Saves mix this time up. and energy. Yes. Okay. All right, so that's mixed. Now I'm going to add the flour. And you just kind of add, it says three and a quarter to four cups, so you can just put it in. And I'll show you how to tell if it's enough or not. Nice. Yeah. Just need some more mixing here. Okay, so now I added flour and I'm going to check and see if there's enough flour or not. So I'm going to put some shortening on my hands and rub it in. I checked it and it kind of bounces back to my hand mm -hmm. and it doesn't, isn't stuck on my hands, sure, yeah, so can. it's good to go. Perfect. We're gonna knead it for a while, maybe five minutes, just until it's kneaded really well. If you're doing it by hand, it just needs to be um, very fluid, not lumpy or anything, so. Okay, so now our dough is kneaded well, and we're going to get it out and put it in this bowl. I'd like to um, put shortening on it, paper towel or something and wipe it around in here so it doesn't stick to the bowl while it's rising. Oh, I'll really coat the bowl in there. Yeah. Perfect. So that should now, be good. Now will a non-stick spray work just as well or do you really prefer the shortening? Uh, I prefer the shortening, but I know some people do that too. Yeah. yeah. So I put it on my hands too and I off here. I'm gonna take that. Sure thing. Thank you. Just kind of to everything. The less flour you put in, the um, poofier they get, but they can, the dough can also be stickier, so. But this bad definitely does not outweigh the good of soft, crunchy pretzels. And so we're going to allow the dough to rise in this bowl, is that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. About how long will it take to rise um, to the level? Until it's about double in size, which normally if your water was warm and everything, it should be around 20 minutes. Okay. So we're just going to kind of knead this into a nice circle here. Flip it over to the soft side, pound it down, and stick your cloth on top and wait for the magic to happen. <laughs> And so this is what I am really, really excited about for this episode is mm -hmm. the actual charcuterie board and arranging of all the elements. And yeah. I have seen some of the end product when you've done this before, and it is 
stunning. So <laughs> no pressure today, <laughs> but I know you're going to do a great job, and I'm just so excited for everybody to see what you do with these ingredients. But first, let's kind of go around. I want you to tell me, as you're you know preparing and laying them, tell me about each ingredient and what made you choose um, that specifically for today's board. Okay. So I wanted this whole thing to be very family-friendly, so we're going to do slice up a... Uh, this is a Choyer's Trebloni with cheese. It's all beef. And yeah, it's delicious. It's more of a quality, has the cheese in it. Yeah, it looks great. So tell me about the knife you're using. Do you need a specific style? Um, yeah, this is a, just a regular, kind of like a longer paring knife. And it works great for this. It's Rada. I just got it from the store. And works great for slicing this kind of stuff. So yeah, the kids, and not only do they love pretzels, they love this stuff, and it goes well with these cheese curds. Got some pickled ingredients mm -hmm. there and, and dips. Yep. Awesome. Great. So when you arrange a charcuterie board, it's best to arrange the meats and cheeses first. And just kind of, charcuterie is not like for containers or whatever. You, it's just put it on there, and the more random, the better. You don't want... It's not like a circular cheese board where everything is totally You don't want it to look too aligned. planned out. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. So we're cutting these up, and would you want to roll up this ham for me? Oh, absolutely. Is this okay. a particular type of ham that you this have This is honey ham, and if you just roll it into a little spiral thing, I will put them on the board there. I'll let you arrange them later. All right. <laughs> Just putting it on here. Sorry. Yeah, so we're doing this while our dough is rising. And so we're going to have the, the platter all ready. So as soon as the pretzels come out of the oven, we are good to eat it. <laughs> the first step was what we said is arrange the meats. So maybe we'll put some over here, here. Right. Add some cheese. All right, so you've got cheese clumps. curds today? Yes, these are freshly made Milton Creamery cheese curds. They are oh, so good. They're award. I'm going to try some? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> they're so good. These are the dill ones. And we also got With the mic, the regular. That, like, the squeaking of the cheese curd? Because that's a thing. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> Squeaky cheese curds. <laughs> Love it. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to stick some regular ones here. And again, like charcuterie, you just want. Nice piles, kind of, here and there. Okay, now I have some dips here. This is like just a cheese dip warmed up. We can eat it with the pretzels. And this is a Parmesan peppercorn dip mix, just mixed with sour cream. And this is really good just to kind of put on the meats or pretzels or whatever. Great. Last time I mixed these two and it was really good. For oh, the like together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. And then these are... Uh, Garlic mushroom, marinated mushroom. Mm -hmm. And this is our red beets. Oh, yum. Pickled red beets. My mom used to make these, and they are so potent that they stain anything. So be careful in our white aprons, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> now we'll get some of these grapes. Stick them around. And this gets your... People to eat fresh fruit. My kids just love the grapes. These look really nice too. Mm -hmm. A green grape would look nice here too as well, but mm -hmm. I love these red ones. I know some people do um, like fresh pear goes well with the cheeses. You could do blueberries, strawberries. Yeah, anything in the season would be a great idea. Mm -hmm. All right, save room over here for the pretzels right beside the cheese. And put some fresh parsley in. Mm, this must look really good. good. It does look really good. This would be great to sit in the middle of the table and just mm -hmm. let the family or your, your guests just kind of pick from as you maybe play a card game or just enjoy each other's company. Yeah, and on a hot day, just this cold cut stuff and then yeah, the hot, buttery, meal, huh? crispy pretzels to go with it should be perfect. Okay, okay now we just need to wait on the pretzels. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Let's check and see if this dough is done. Ooh, look how much it's risen. 
Wow, that looks beautiful. So this stuff is ready to go. If you want to put some shortening on your hand, sure. We will make the pretzels. Whoa, making pretzels. So I grew up like, my mom got this recipe in a, one of those chain mail things. You mail in so many recipes, you no get- No kidding? 400,000 back, you know, that never happens. Now, was this regular mail or email? Yeah, regular, regular mail. mail. Back in the wow. days when you didn't do email yet, you know. <laughs> and this is one recipe she actually got back and actually used. And so I'd make this when I was probably 11 or something. And all, my family really liked it. So I'm just going to make about, it's about too small, eight of these things. And you can start rolling them into a little um, strip if you want. Okay. I'll try something. You tell me if it's right. Okay. Like that. See if you're going to go fast she is. And go oh, out. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's going to go. You're going to have so much fun, you know? all your pretzels done before I get one. And you go like this to kind of just for the fun of it. <laughs> so you can twist it once or twist it twice. I did it twice here. And you can see the double one and you just ooh, spray the spray the pan here. And lay them on there. Okay, if you yeah, squish it like this to kind of get it into a cylinder shape and then start so you're not starting with a round glob. So go from the middle and go out. Yeah, it's doing good. You're very fast at that. Like I said, I started making it when I was 11. Yeah. So don't ask how many years that is. <laughs> All right. Trying to get the, squish the air bubbles out of it. Yeah, then after these are all done, we let them rise again just a little bit, not mm -hmm. very long. And then we put them in a boiling solution of soda water. Mm -hmm. And that makes it really crispy on the outside and doughy in the center. It's super good. It's what everybody likes about a pretzel, huh? Yes. Little right. cute little button pretzel. Okay, so now we're just going to let them rise a little bit. Great. Put a towel on top of them so they don't get hard on the top. Ta-da! Wonderful. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, these have risen perfectly. Yes, they have. Take sure thing. Okay. All right. I, so what's our next step here? Well, I have a boiling solution of water and baking soda. And we're just going to put these on. You put the raised side of the pretzel in first. And this just gives them a nice crusty texture after they're We're baked. doing this before we bake it, which we have our oven preheated, I should yep. probably mention. And then would you like me to put some salt on? Or? Yes, please. Okay, perfect. Tell me about the salt that you have selected for us today. So we have a pretzel salt, which is your normal salt for pretzels. And then we have Montana steak seasoning. And I kind of found that one day. I was like, hey, let's try this on pretzels. A bit more of a kick to it, huh? Yeah, exactly. Take some of these and I'll switch over to the Montana. Levi likes that and my kids like the regular, so. How colorful that is. That's really nice. Yeah. Okay, this stuff is ready for the oven. All right, great. Can't wait to taste this. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think you're ready to check on these pretzels. Oh, they smell so good, Erica. Yes. Been here about 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Ooh, yes. Yes, check I wish this. This, you had smell of it. See how they're kind of brown on the bottom? <gasps> it's perfect. Okay. Let's just pour some butter on top. All right. Should we put them on our board? Are we Let's ready? Let's do it. Okay. So and I love how here. the board has the, the sides like this so you can kind of prop up the pretzels. Yep, what a great idea. Wonderful. You might have to eat a lot of these, Diana, if they don't fit on. Darn. <laughs> And the great thing is you can kind of rearrange as you go. I see. Yeah, exactly. 
Okay, that's why charcuterie is so popular. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, this all looks fantastic. All right, well, let me put that her up. in here. One more. Okay, I think we are pretty much done. I'll stick these toothpicks in for use. Oh, and awesome. Good job. Voila. That was a blast. Awesome. Well, if you're interested in any of the products that were used today in this mm -hmm. episode, please make sure to check out DutchCountryKitchen.com. And um, we have, we'll have the recipe there and lots of other recipes too. So make sure you go over there and check it out. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today and thanks for joining us. Yes, I can't wait to eat this thing. Me too. <laughs>